Tech Cocktail Conversations, candid insights from startup founders, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders from around the globe. Hi, my name is Matt Mitskevich. I'm the co-founder of 99designs, which is the largest crowdsourcing website for graphic design in the world. We basically connect small business owners who need logos, business cards, brochures, and websites designed with a network of over 160,000 designers from around the world. I wish I could say I came up with the 99designs idea myself, but I was actually born organically of my original business, which is called SitePoint. SitePoint is an online magazine for developers and designers. And one of the interesting things that started happening in that community around 2006, 2007, is that designers started making up fictional contests and competing against each other to see who could do the best job. So they would create fictional Photoshop contests just because they were passionate about graphic design and because they wanted to practice their skills. Eventually what started happening is that some of the other members of the SitePoint community saw this activity happening and they said, wow, look at all these talented designers, look at all the time and effort they're putting into you know, these design contests uh, just for fun and passion. Why don't we offer them cash prizes for real work? And they started offering real money for the things such as logo design. And the designers just jumped on the opportunity and started creating and competing against each other to design various you know, graphical elements. That's sort of the basic genesis of 99designs. The companies that we really look, for, look at these days as a model are companies that are really good at user experience design, such as MailChimp, which you think is an absolutely fantastically designed product. The CEO of that company has a design background. I think he's done a tremendous job building a really easy to use email system for small business owners. We also look at other companies that are really disruptive, such as Airbnb and Square, which have had the guts to really challenge the status quo and you know, tackle an entire industry and you know, revolutionize the economics and how things work and turn it on its head. When we started 99designs, we were very adamant against taking outside VC money. But within a year of launching, we were basically inundated by requests for meetings from every major VC firm in Silicon Valley. And Excel Partners was definitely the most persistent. I think they were on us for well over a year before we took the money and felt it was a really good time to not only have their stamp of approval in our company, which would help with recruiting, but also to have their expertise in growth and internationalization, since Excel was one of the very early investors in Groupon, which is obviously one of the fastest growing companies ever created, basically. I think funding is a really delicate subject. I think too many people are taking funding and viewing it as the end goal of their business, where in reality it should be building a profitable and successful company. I think too many entrepreneurs sort of hang their head, hats on who their investors are and how much money they've raised, versus I really think success is dictated by a whole separate set of metrics. Uh, with 99designs, I think we learned of the importance of customer service and how providing a fantastic experience to the customer can do a tremendous job of marketing the business and actually helping uh, spread word of mouth. So for the, base, for the first three years of 99designs, we basically spent no money on marketing at all. We had created a service that was 100 times better than the next alternative, which certainly helped. But also everyone who used us had such a positive experience, not only using the service, but dealing with our customer support staff on email, live chat, phone, that they were very willing to help spread the word and tell their friends, family, and colleagues about our service. I think the moment we really realized that we were onto something big is when 99design was launched in April of uh, 2008. Uh, we basically more than doubled our volume of contests in a very, very short period of time. And just a variety of projects that we saw posted to the site helped us realize how big the market was. Our early customers very early on were just like tech startups and gang logos designed. But within the, with, through the launch process, we saw you know companies requesting t-shirt designs, brochures, people had car wraps, billboards, you know wine labels, book covers. And it's only when we saw the huge variety of projects that people needed to be designed that sort of clicked for us. This was you know a really, really big market.